I'm Vivian, I'm from the UE Learning 2020 group and we're just pulling together some really simple resources on getting people started with Twitter. So we had a first video in which I showed you how to set up an account and how to start interacting with other people using um, some of these little functions underneath where you can reply and send a message back to someone saying, hey, that was a great tweet. You can retweet it out to your community of followers or you can like it. And when you do these functions, what happens is that comes up in someone else's notification tab. And that's how you can help build your network by interacting with people with similar interests. Um, and then you can start following them and then they follow you. So what you can do if you want to start tweeting is literally put in a message like that and I can tweet that out. Now, if you ever want to get rid of a tweet, there are these extra functions at the end and you simply can delete your tweet and people will think I'm mad and what am I doing? Okay, so it's also worth noting you can attach photos and videos but do make sure you have the permissions or you're using openly licensed materials if you are sharing stuff and that's just good practice. So it's also worth understanding at the start the difference between the group and the hashtag and what those mean. So the little and at symbol, so where it says at Vivian Rolfe, that is someone's handle, someone's username or the name of a group. Okay, and that is someone's personal account um, and that's the identifier in which someone can communicate with you. So I'm going to communicate with someone else to say, make me a cup of tea. And if he's on Twitter, he should get that message and he should arrive. So the difference between the group and a hashtag. So the hashtag is an open conversation about any subject. So let's just have a look. Um, what might we think about, for example, teaching excellence framework. So what that is, anyone can use a hashtag to start a conversation. Um, hashtags are often associated with conferences. Um, and you can follow the, the conversations and the trains of thought by looking at that hashtag. So this is everything around the Teaching Excellence Framework. Here's another one, HE Green Paper. So clearly there's been a lot of activity around those subjects recently. So that's the hashtag and anyone can set up a hashtag. It's not someone's personal group. And that's the difference between the hashtag and the, the at symbol, which is the username or someone's private account. You can toggle around and here's all the live and most current tweets in that conversation. Or you can look at the most popular and read and liked tweets in that conversation and really that's essentially it and it's quite you can be quite strategic in um, following hashtag groups and networks so if you were interested in say your subject discipline you could look for groups within that discipline and start following them um, there are all sorts of higher education groups on here so example the QAA on here um, if you want to follow someone you literally select follow. If you ever want to stop following them, you'd simply unfollow them. So what you can do is you can build up a little community of people with, with similar interests to yourself um, and join in other live activities as they might manifest. Another very, very good thing that started up recently and I like, it's the notion of a tweet chat where someone will host a chat on Twitter just for half an hour of an hour. Um, L-T-H-E tweet chat is the one that's really taken off on a Wednesday night. So that's an example of how Twitter can be used, not just in sort of a networking way, but actually to have a live conversation with a group of people. So tweet chats seem to be quite a popular thing. And this is one it's worth looking at on a Wednesday night. Let's see what my notification is. T is on the way. So there we are. That's a whistle stop tour to how to do a tweet how to delete a tweet. If you click that more button, you can add media, videos and pictures, and you can start strategically finding uh, people to follow and groups and organisations within your own professional discipline.